Last nine months of the 2020 campaign cycle, the normal political concerns may have been put on the back burner, replaced, of course, by talk of COVID-19, mask mandates, quarantines. But now that the election's over, News 5's Caroline Sweeney tells us some say it's time to take a look at the incoming administration's platform on issues that normally drive an election. March 2020. Can you remember back that far? It's the waning moments of a traditional presidential campaign, and Joe Biden visits Columbus. With every town survivors and moms demand action volunteers. That night, his next stop in Cleveland was canceled. After that, COVID-19 outpaced traditional campaign conversation nationally, but... I think candidates were speaking about it more than ever before, and I think that it's important to voters. Rebecca Gorski is with Moms Demand Action here in Cleveland. So we must address these issues at the federal level. And we're lucky to have gun sense champions like Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in the White House leading the way on this. Here is some of what the new administration wants to do. Enact universal background checks, close the Charleston loophole, end the manufacture of assault weapons, and pass legislation for safe home storage. Which is, it's a good idea to have good home storage requirements. But when you add the word mandate... And then you add the word under penalty of law. Amanda Suffolk is a Second Amendment activist and radio host. This is Eye on the Target Radio with your hosts, Rob and Amanda. Where Rebecca Gorski sees promise in the Biden-Harris agenda, Suffolk sees a breach of freedom. When you talk to the liberal gun club, they're like, yeah, that's a platform. That's not real. Well... If it's not real, why is it saying this is the direction we want to go? Okay, folks, we are back. And with us is our guest, Lara Smith. She says that is is not the way things should go. From a Second Amendment standpoint, this is this is the conversation of feelings versus facts. And um, because when someone is harmed with a firearm or with a bat, with a car, with a it doesn't matter what, empathetically, we we all feel bad. We do not want that to happen. And gun owners don't want it to happen any more than anybody else wants it to happen. Suffolk Cool says more education is needed, and that's not in the platform. These two women don't agree on much when it comes to gun issues, but they both say the pandemic hasn't dulled the conversation. Maybe across the nation that the Second Amendment is just getting more awareness now. And you could see through the spike that we saw when the beginning of COVID hit, we were over like 300 percent in sales of both firearms and retail. Rob Early is the owner of the Parma Armory. With the spike in sales at the start of the pandemic, there wasn't a run on guns after the election. And a new administration means changes. We don't know what restrictions we might see or or less restrictions we might see. We don't know. It's a mystery, especially with it changing every day. Early says he doesn't expect any issues with sales, even if background check regulations change in the new administration. Caroline Sweeney, News 5.